have a little hint to show you, and I'm sure this has been done before by somebody out there somewhere, but I'm running across things as I work and as I find solutions, my solutions to them, I'm going to share them with you. Take them for what they are, something that you may want to try if you have a similar issue with what you're doing. What I am doing is I am creating a little photo art journal from our Christmas. Today is December 31st and I'm spending the entire day watching you stream, zooming with my art friends, maybe looking in on some YouTube lives. It's an art retreat weekend. What can I say? So I am binding this journal that I made. I already have the photos in it, so I cannot show you all the pages. I did put a little piece of scrapbook paper over this photo because I want to show you what's happening here. I'm using the Coptic Stitch. I'm having fun with that. It seems to be working out fine for me, except right here, you can tell Oops, I have a tear in one of my little sprockets here. So I want to fix this, and what my solution is, you see I have some washi tape here, and it's it's pokey dotty washi tape. It's just some extra that I probably got it in Happy Mail, to tell you the truth. And what I'm going to do is tear off a little piece. Yes, I'm going to tear off a, a small piece. And I will probably make it go over two, two sprockets. I'm going to tear that off. I'm going to turn it upside down. What I have here is some double-sided tape. I got this at Joann's. It's called Mrs. Sparkles Tapes. And I got it in their tube dollar box. And I am really kind of liking this. I don't know if it's acid-free or not. It does not say on the packaging. And it has a really firm grip to it it holds on especially to paper really tight once you put it down it's really hard to maneuver it to get up again without tearing your surface that you put it down on on a shinier surface it may work better what i'm going to do is i'm going to strengthen this washi tape with my double-sided tape and that will also strengthen the little sprocket areas in here. Now it's easier to handle this because I have something to hold on to. And I'm just going to put my double-sided tape on there. Just like that. The pokey tool comes in handy. <laughs> Getting the tape backing off of the tape that's always a challenge there we go now i'm only going to put i'm only going to put half of the, see how this is even sticking that sticks pretty good to that painty paper i already have this part of my page bound but i'm going to just put half of that over these two sprockets it may go into the third one let's make it go into the third one half of it here and let's flip it over. So I'll fold my page back over. Now let's just fold it over, kind of get that thread out of the way. And I'm just going to fold it over. So now I have a nice strong binding again. And it's a different color. I'll come back in with my gold paint. I use Jacquard's gold paint on this. Uh, will this be strong enough? I do think this will be strong enough to hold my stitch. We will see as I work.
You can hardly tell where I fixed my binding in there. I just strengthened these sprockets, especially the one that was torn there. So I'm going to continue binding this. It's going to be several hours before I get this done because I have several pages to do. But I've got all weekend to do it. <laughs> Thank you for watching. And I will see you on the next page.